the last fight uh, the first round yeah I, I think yeah I hit her with a really good shot but it was only 30 seconds left <laughs> Guy Nicholson versus Sarah Mafood on Saturday night out in uh, Las Vegas for the WBC title. Any thoughts on that fight? I think it was a really, really great fight. Uh, Sky managed it really well, boxed out of the distance. When Mafood came in, she was out with her, with her little steps. She had a great eye. The timing was right. Well deserved it was a great fight for women's boxing. There's been criticism of Nicholson in the past that she's too amateurish or she's still got an amateurish yeah. style. Have you seen her develop over, you know, especially in the last sort of six months to a year? Have you seen slight changes? And do you, in fact, have a problem with the so called amateurish style? What are your thoughts on that? I think she developed really, really great and adapted her style or from the amateurs to pros really well. She's sitting in her in her punches, really great shots. And I think it's good, especially, oh, it's really nice when you came from the amateurs, you have a good pedigree, you're a really technical, great boxer, and then you're jumping to the pros. And from time to time, when you have the power from the pros in the punches and the technical thing from the amateurs, when you can combine both, it's great for pro boxing I, I i have to agree i've said it before i'm slightly biased because i come from uh, the amateur background but i always said that as soon as kind of the 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 amateur girls the top top amateur girls start making that switch over into the pro scene and, and let's be fair the, the the girls prior to you could only deal with what they had in front of them but i always said as soon as you guys start to make that move over it's kind of curtains. Are we seeing that now? Uh, well, I think it's uh, also important that you you have to know your strength when you're fast on your feet. Use this in your pro fights. Also, when you have a fast jab, a great right hand, use that also in the pro fights. It's it's not wrong when you use your your feet and not always trading, going out, going inside. When you can change a little bit, and I think that's the great combination, a great mix. Yeah, I agree. I think people talk about this whole thing of boxing IQ and it gets thrown around. I actually don't think many people have got it, but I certainly think that people that have had that good grounding in the amateurs, you know, they they think inside the ring, they're looking, they're looking for the little openings and stuff. And I think they seem to have, yourself included, have more of an IQ. And I'm sorry if that offends people, but <laughs> that's just my opinion. Yeah, you it's always when you have your own opinion and not everyone may, I don't know how you call it in English, uh, not everyone shares the same opinion, of course. Yeah. Uh, what I particularly liked, I think you touched on it earlier on, that Sky Nicholson was keeping it nice and long, picking off her opponent, landing some good power shots. Very similar to your style. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I really like it. Uh, I have... My strength are my fast feeds and I love to go inside the distance and then going step out. I always use my feet. I feel comfortable in it. And I re when I really feel comfortable to trade, I go inside, I trade, but I go also out. So, yeah, I think Sky, of course, she's a little bit taller than me. Yeah. But we have, of course, also a different style. Not different, a similar style from the amateurs. And because we are... Yeah, looking, looking for the right shots and also the timing is really important. When your opponent jumps in or runs into you, that you see, how do you call it? That you see the middle where she's open and that you really have the right timing for it, where you set your punches, then use your feet going out and yeah. I love it when people really think, I know for some people they find that boring. They want to see pressure, pressure, yeah. Pressure. You can still you can still see pressure, but I like intelligent. This is just me personally. I like intelligent boxing. I like smart boxing. I like clever. Clever boxing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Smart and clever boxing. And when you see, how do you call it in English? When you see the when you see the middle or when there's something free where the opponent is open. Opening. Yeah. And yeah, and you and you see it, and you stand right as you have the the uh, good stand then the, the, the shot is automatically really powerful. 
So I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's great <laughs> when the amateurs coming to the pros now. It's nice. I did notice, and this is a criticism, it's just something that I noticed. Sky would switch off slightly sometimes and then would be getting caught with very silly shots. Uh, I think actually Eddie, her coach, actually had to kind of say to her, listen, you've got to stay switched on. You know, even though you're enjoying yourself, say switched on. When they're finding a, a fight easy, is it, and they find it easy to beat their opponent, is it easy to switch off? Is it easy for you to go, God, it's almost like it's all, it, all the work is coming from you and nothing much is coming back. And it be, is it easier to switch off then than it would be, let's say, against a tougher fighter? Well, when I have the feeling I control the fight, I'm not really getting silly. I, because sometimes when I go back to my corner, my trainer, my coach always says, stick to the plan. What we worked on before, don't get silly, don't get silly punches just because you make some moves you don't have to do. Or, and we always stick to the plan from round one to round six, round eight, ten. And I think it's important, but sometimes, of course, you forget, okay, I have to stick to my plan. I know it's now I feel comfortable. Everything's working well in the fight. It, it, it starts to, to feel good. It makes it really fun to box. And of course, but you have your coach in your ring corner and he's there to say, no girl, stick to your plan. <laughs> Calm <laughs> down. <laughs> it calms you down a bit <laughs> because you, you start to enjoy the fight really much. And I also had it in my last fight. In London, I really enjoyed the fight. And I think, yeah, after the first round, he he, he said, stick to the plan, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great round, but there are five rounds to go. So <laughs> Don't get greedy. Is <laughs> That's what we call it here, just don't get greedy. <laughs> but I, the coaches are there for to say, hey, calm down. <laughs> to remind it's true. It, it, it's true. I mean, I... I I could see that Sky was really enjoying herself in there. And dare I say, she made it look... I don't know if Mahfoud was having an off night or she couldn't work her out. <laughs> it seemed like she couldn't... Well, it seems like a combination of things. She couldn't work her out, possibly having an off night. But in my opinion, Sky made it look really, really easy. What are your thoughts on that? She, I think she... Mahfoud didn't know what to do. Sky... She, Sky worked from different angles, was always out. Mafut came in and always with her, with her feet out, out of the distance. Then she had her jab, always punching and keeping her on, on how do you call it? On long range? At distance. On yeah. long distance. Yeah. For Mafut, it was not possible to get in. So, mm. yeah, I think Sky really showed really great boxing it was really nice to watch smart boxing for Definitely. really clever boxing so with that said is sky nicholson ready to fight uh, amanda serrano i i think she's ready yeah my food was a well, was a great great opponent and i think after my food she can fight of course serrano and i think she she's ready for it so why not so the argument is that my food I think when she fought Serrano, she got three rounds. She took three rounds. I think with this fight, it was the scorecards were 190, 190, and 99, 91 in favor of Sky Nicholson. Now, I'm going to be honest and bear with me with this. Before this fight, I would have said it's too soon. Not because I don't think she can beat her, it's because I feel like there are certain fighters that are being rushed. Mm -hmm. and I want to see, I want to salivate. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I also understand the yeah. need to move on. But now I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I think Sky and her, her whole team, they have a plan, and I, I don't know what's coming now, who is the next opponent for Sky, but I think they have a, have a plan, of course, and we will see who's the next opponent. So... <laughs> Talking of potential opponents, you could be a potential opponent. Of course, yes. <laughs> yeah, but first I have to get back to the ring. It's been a long time. My last fight is now, yeah, over a year, uh, yeah, a year ago. 
And I think first of all, it's important for me to get back into the ring. <laughs> it's uh, frustrating a little bit, but I'm still working hard every day and yeah, waiting for my chance. <laughs> yeah. So just going back to the Serrano and Nicholson situation, I think Sky said before and definitely after that if she isn't she that she's apparently not super in favor of the three minute rounds. However, she does want to fight Serrano. She will fight uh, those three minute rounds in order to fight her. Firstly, what is your take on the whole three minutes versus two minutes for women? To be honest, that's my opinion. I don't have a problem to go three minute rounds. I'm used to go three minute rounds in training and only when I was sick. I go down to two minute rounds, but then after two, three weeks, I go back to my three minute rounds. So I'm really, how, how do you call it? I'm really flexible in it. And I'm really, I can box both two minute or three minute rounds and think I got, got a good engine. <laughs> so for me, why not to box three minute rounds? Do you think the money's there though for the you know, okay, for people like Serrano, she's going to get paid. For people like probably Katie Taylor, they're going to get paid. Would it not be better to have a choice rather than a fixed, you have to do three minutes uh, versus two? Do you think that that would work, basically being able to have a choice? Uh, I, for me, I would say why why we cannot make it equal. You know, I think women are also capable of doing three minute rounds like the men's. So that's my opinion. And I think Serana also said why we can't make it equal. Women can do or can also box three minute rounds. So why not? Maybe there are some fighters who don't like to, to box three minute rounds. So they prefer more two minute rounds. But it's just my, my opinion. Mm -hmm. I would not. So for me, it would be perfect to to box three minute rounds. Yeah, because it's, it's a big difference three minute rounds compared to two minute rounds, because I, my opinion, the last the last minute is the hardest. <laughs> also, I think that definitely certain people are more their style is more suited to three minute rounds. I think yours I is definitely suited to three minute rounds. I think that. The fights that I've seen recently of you, they're able to kind of hang on. And if there was just a little bit extra time, <laughs> you could just pack them away. Yeah, the, the, yeah there was uh, the first round in, in London, the last fight, uh, the first round. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I hit her with a really good shot, but it was only 30 seconds left. <laughs> so Yes. Was it, is it Rueg? Is it Rueg? Gemma Rook, yes. Gemma Rueg. I saw the fight. <laughs> yeah, I saw the fight. I think that you made a great statement. I think you made a really, really great statement. 